welcome back to Metal Mondays. Ooh, it's been a week since the last viewing that you saw of me, which that was pre-recorded a few days before that. Had a rough week and didn't get to do any videos. And uh, you have to check out Shooting the Ship video, which is right before this one because it's Monday. That one will be uploaded on Sunday uh, to know about all that stuff. But you're not here to hear about all that. If you want to tune in Shooting the Shit and you understand what I'm talking about, we are here for cassette tapes, uh, VHS tapes of all things, with, of course, metal stuff in it, and a few CDs that I picked up over the last probably month and a half, almost two months. I've held back on a lot of these when I started uh, Metal Mondays because I had some other things I wanted to show off, and now it's about time to finally show off this huge cassette haul. But first, we're going to show off these few VHS. Uh, M MJ TV, we went to an antique store. I showed it off. Uh, said that we picked it up or whatever. It was only a quarter. It's Guns and Roses. Welcome to the videos. Uh, of course, it's just got a lot of video videos from uh, the VHS uh, MTV era. There was a lot of these tapes and stuff that just had their videos. And it's got Welcome to the Jungle, Sweet Child of Mine, Paradise City, Patience, uh, Don't Cry. I mean, it's got a little November Rain. A little bit of everything. It looks like there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. About 20 uh, videos there for a quarter. It looks brand new. <clears throat> Had to add it to the metal VHS. Even though it's more rock and roll, I, I always thought kind of Guns N' Roses was in a harder kind of kick or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, I picked this one up uh, from Welcome Back Collectibles 2. Two of one uh, Metallica. This is just basically three different. Uh, it's got the introduction from Lars, and uh, he talks a little bit about the uh, making of the video one, which was their first video back in the day. It also has the original version, which is seven minutes and 44 seconds, and the jamming version, which takes out the movie part and just has the actual video of them playing in black and white there for five minutes and five seconds. So yeah, this is really cool. You turn around and see the back of that. Always wanted that. I got a lot of Metallica VHS in my collection. I had to add that one. I think I only gave like five bucks for that. It's pretty good. And uh, he also had this. It's a Historia it's Def Leppard. I haven't watched this yet, uh, but I picked it up too. I think it's just basically like a, um, I don't know. It looks like it's got a lot of videos and stuff on it. Might be uh, a little bit of a documentary too. I'm not sure it's a, Tape is kind of jacked up. It's ripped up case thing right there, cover. But, um, hell, five bucks. I ain't never seen nothing like this, so I figured to grab it. That is all the VHS. Let's jump into the uh, CDs here. Uh, first one I picked up, I got from Larry's too, the Many Faces of Metallica. Uh, actually, when I first picked this up, I just looked at it. It had three uh, things and three discs, and I seen kind of small stuff where it had, like, people introduction and it had like um, influences and uh, originals and stuff from people like, uh, you know, Motorhead and uh, like Venom and stuff like that. But I didn't uh, pay attention to the songs. I just saw the titles and uh, it's actually sung by other artists and stuff. A lot of them I don't know about. Uh, some of them are all right. Some of them are pretty bad. Uh, but there is a few good ones on the three discs there. But uh, yeah, if you've never seen it or heard of it, check it out. I don't know if you want to buy it. I only pay five bucks for it too. But uh, it's okay. It's it once you hear somebody like Metallica play classic songs and stuff all these years, you hear somebody else try to do it, and they try to change it a lot. It's not really the greatest. Uh, next one up is a Metallica one. We keep going with Metallica. Here. It's the Black Album, of course. Nobody need look at there. You can see me in there. Check that out. Uh, yeah, no introduction to this. I mean, everybody knows about the Black Album. A lot of people didn't like the Black Album. I remember when it first came out. Uh, I always thought it was pretty good, though. Even though, it, I mean, it slowed down the, the metal of their songs and stuff. But I think, uh, I thought it was still pretty heavy. So I always still liked it. And the last one I picked up at Wally World of All Play, which that one I picked up at Wally World, too, I forgot to say. Uh, the very best of Dio. You can't go wrong with Dio. Um, I figured just get a compilation 
it's got all the great songs in it and stuff right here. Um, of course, one of my favorites is always, uh, I like Stand Up and Shout and The Last in Line. Like a rainbow in the dark. Can't sing it like him, but I always like the rainbow in the dark. Uh, so that is the CDs. And now it's time for the cassettes. This is probably about two months ago when the very first cassettes that I bought when I got, uh, when I knew that the uh, little stereo was coming that I bought, <laughs> I got it on eBay and it was, I think they were only like maybe eight or nine, ten bucks with shipping and everything. And I said, why not? I always wanted to get this one. Uh, Alice Cooper is a con constrictor. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff from... Um, Jason Lives on it. It's, it came out. Uh, he's back. The Man Behind the Mask. Uh, Teenage Frankenstein. Stuff like that. Had this tape when I was a kid. Loved it. Uh, also in that lot <clears throat> is Alice Cooper's Trash. Ain't really got to listen to this one. <coughs> got a little bit of a cough. And Alice Cooper, Raise Your Fist and Yell. So yeah, all three of these for like 10 bucks. I said, why not start out the collection with some Alice Cooper. Uh, also had another little um, lot on there that I picked up uh, probably a week or two later, I'm not sure. Uh, and it's funny because Alice Cooper and now we're going to Anthrax. Starts with an A, uh, Attack of the Killer Bees. I got all three of these for like 16 bucks. Um, state of Etheria or whatever, I can't, I don't know. I don't know how you say that. My wife knows it. She's told me about it. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, also, uh, Perseverance of Time. Perseverance of Time? I don't know. I'm not good sometimes with just weird-ass words, you know? Uh, yeah. And uh, that was it for them. <clears throat> Anthrax likes to put in weird words that I don't know how to pronounce. But anyway, uh, then the last lot. Yeah, the last lot's a really big... Well, not real big, but it's, you know, I, I, it was something that I couldn't pass up, uh, I mean, for as many as they had. The first one up was a, uh, it's a tribute to Black Sabbath, uh, Nativity in Black. Uh, love Black Sabbath. I want to hear some people sing some Black Sabbath songs, see how it is. Sometimes some people can do some good Black Sabbath songs. Uh, this next one, I think, is their, their first album, Trickster. I don't know a whole lot about them. I do remember them from the 80s, I think, and maybe the early 90s. But uh, it was in the lot, so I, I couldn't, like, pick and choose. <clears throat> then you had Aerosmith Pump. Everybody knows that. I think this is their first one, too. Dangerous Toys. Oh, yeah. And then ACDC's Razor's Edge. So, I mean, it had a little bit of hard rock and metal in it. Um... And this one I might not, I might kill too, is that Joe Saturnelli? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say some of these names. Crazy. Also, uh, Queensryche uh, Empire, right there. Had a lot of good stuff in it though, and uh, for the price, I had to go ahead and pick it up. Ozzy Osbourne's No More Tears. This one's all right. I'd prefer his uh, younger stuff, you know, but, you know. It was on a lot, so I had to get it. Um, next one up is uh, Blessing in Disguise Metal Church. Gotta love some Metal Church back then. This one was all over the internet. but uh, And another Anthrax, yeah. Sound of White Noise. I can say that. Yeah, right there. That sounds stupid sometimes, don't I? Uh, Skid Row's uh, first album. Gotta love some Skid Row every once in a while. I really like the... Sebastian Box Boys back in the day. And that same seller, uh, I picked up another tape, uh, probably, I think it was the day before that. And then I happened to look back and see that he had some stuff. And I did pay a little bit more on this. I, I, for this one, I paid 10 bucks. And it's uh, Death Angels Act 3. So I did pay about 10 bucks for that one. But uh, get some death metal in your collection, baby. Well, it's more thrash, but uh, Death Angel, but you know. Uh, yeah, I always love it. And I like to get ultra violence. It's um, a little it's more expensive. But that is the cassettes. A lot of cassettes, uh, a few CDs, and a few VHS for the 
Metal Mondays haul. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any of these or you want to talk about any of them or you never heard of some of them, give me a comment at the bottom and let me know. Until next time, keep banging your heads.